is the Honorable Judge Jackson presiding. All right, let's get this over with. You may be seated. Okay, tell me the case. Uh, opening statements. Your Honor, this man is guilty of robbing my client's home. Well, hello. My client is completely innocent. He did not rob anything. He was at the ice cream store with the police officer. I've heard your opening statements. Now let's go to the witnesses. Your Honor, I would like to call my first witness to the stand, Ezra Pereira. Ezra Pereira to the stand. Mr. Pereira, are you 100% that you saw this man's face? You must answer this question. Now, go. Uh, um, um, I was at work. And then I went home after a long day, and I forgot to lock the door. Any alibis? Um, one woman, my secretary. Name? Um, Joanne Jetson. Okay. Proceed. And she let she handed me my car keys, and I left because I work at a lawyer and firm. And um, um, I went home, and I forgot to lock the door, and I took a nap. What proof, Mr. Pereira, do you have that the defendant is guilty? Um, I do. I have surveillance cameras at my home. Five of them. And so, yeah, we'll roll that clip. Oh. Cross-examine. Without a shadow of a doubt, did you see my client? Are you just making this up as you go? Um, so he was wearing a ski mask, I think, in the beginning, but I was asleep. But then, I wanted to watch the videos, yeah, so he was wearing a ski mask. He took it off to eat a, par a parfait that was in my fridge, the one I've been saving for about a couple days. And, yes, he turned toward me, and right, right before he punched him, I got a very good look at him, and I'm almost positive it was this man. That is all my questions. Uh, do you have any more witnesses? I'd like to call Joanne Jetson to the stand. Joanne Jetson to the stand! Jetson, did you see my client, Mr. Pereira, leave the establishment? Uh, yes, yes I did. It was 11 o'clock and I gave him his keys and everything. No questions. Would you like to cross-examine? What are you doing at work at 11 o'clock? Women should be sleeping at that time! Eh, it's so perfectly easy to explain if you use your head. I mean, let's let us put your in the chateau is be... Uh, uh, English! Uh, 
All right, so I went to go check the cash box because it just needs to be checked and I had to go do errands as secretaries do and they always take my, I always take my time. So it took a while and I noticed that the lights were on. So I just went and shut them off and I noticed that my dear employer, he was still in his office and so I went and asked him if I could leave and he said, of course, because it was late and ladies should be sleeping as you so decently pointed out. And so I hand him the keys. It's all perfectly to explain, see? I am not satisfied. You may go! No, you should be satisfied. I told the truth. I would like to call the defendant, Mr. Lancaster, to the stands. Sure, dude. Mr. Lancaster, do you have any alibis to where you were at that night? Yeah, I have three people, dude. I have a police officer, a lady, and my mom. Mr. Tony Lancaster, do you plead guilty or not guilty? See, dude. No more questions. Would you like to cross examine? Where were you on the night of the burglary? I was having like ice cream with a police officer, dude. It's true. It's true. It's true. If you didn't do it, who did? Uh, I don't know. Not me. I would like to call my foot Rosnas. The girl, the ice cream lady. I don't remember her name. Witness, I guess. Did you see Tony at the ice cream shop, lady? Yes. From 7 to 9. With the police officer. That is all. Would you like to cross examine? Ma'am, how long have you known Mr. Lancaster? How long have I known him? He was a... Uh, he was a customer, so from 7 to 9, 2 hours? No. The question is how long... Have you known the defendant, Mr. Tony Lancaster? I've known him since childhood. Mind you. Then. Lieutenant Harvey will be uh, witnessing now. Do you have any, any evidence that Tony's not guilty and maybe that you're a cop? For well, I have a uh, badge to prove I'm a police officer and also a... Uh, Proves that uh, Tony is not guilty because the spoon he used with the parf or a spoon he used or someone uh, parfait. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I personally checked it and it is not Tony's smartphone because it's not. And that is that. Would you like to cross examine? Good. Mrs. Lancaster, uh, Tony's mother will be sitting down and talking for us today. Well, you see, we're from the South and I've raised a most innocent child. There's no way he could have done such a horrible thing. Uh, I mean, honor is very important in our family and I don't even think he gets out of his room after like six o'clock, although I don't check on him. But I think he's there. I'm pretty sure he's there. He's innocent, I tell you. Although I don't check on him after six. That's enough! You're ruining everything! Uh, just stop it, please. Would you like to cross examine? Good. Before we concur, I would like to re examine Tony Lancaster. I just wanted to say one more thing. You might have gotten away with it if it wasn't for one thing. The final thing! No! The ski mask you wore in the no, video! No, give me back! It's not a ski mask, it's a beanie! See? It's a, it's a beanie! You're under arrest! Get up! <laughs> ha, Lieutenant! Or should I say, Harvey! You dropped me! Lieutenant Harvey! Ice cream lady who turned out to be his girlfriend who was lying to protect him. <laughs> Order in the court. On further notice of on uh substantial on new evidence, uh miss uh the ice cream lady 